switch wasn't all that different from uh, going from having a label to being independent just because we've been pretty much running our whole thing by ourselves for years. Uh, not by choice, but you know, when you work with somebody like that, you kind of have to do the majority of the work yourself and try to keep them as separate from what you're doing as possible because that's kind of the way we had to do it. I also would like to think of it like, you know, a slip and slide. Okay. Like you start here, which is victory, and you jump on the slide and you end up here, which is just like self release. It's just a fucking. Can I say that? Yeah. I did. So, um, <laughs> you end up here. It's really fast and fun, you know? You scream the whole time. There's a lot of soap. A lot of screaming, yeah. Yeah, I scream a lot, so it's fun. I like it. And soap? Yeah, you have to soap it up so you slide real fucking fast. Oh, okay. Fast. Gotcha. I hope I'm allowed to say that because I keep doing it. Started out in the spring of 2003. Never went to school. Nobody talked to Three-part harmony on the word bitch. Okay. That That's is never happened before. Not happened, for sure. Um, Dogs. There's only one dog. Dog on the album. There's a dog. One dog. Makes a guest appearance. It's a pug. It is a pug. It's my pug. He's beautiful. His barks are beautiful. And he makes that song beautiful. Beautiful Mm -hmm. songs. Because before our songs were kind of scary and just not really that attractive. These songs are fucking beautiful. Sounds like angels are singing them. These sound like all positive things to me. It's up to you guys, though. Yeah. Check it out. Come cursey. Come cursey. Come cursey. Absolutely not. This one has just been such a long process. I mean, we were in the studio tracking it for eight months. And forever. Uh, forever. Then we were out of it trying to get it mixed and mastered for another two months. Then we went in this whole big thing where we didn't know if we were going to be able to release it when we wanted to or not. And at the last minute, literally three days before uh, we had told the fan base we were going to put out the album, we got the go-ahead that we could do that from our judge. He's an awesome guy. Thank you for that. Uh, We didn't pay him or anything. (laughs) No. But, uh, yeah. So it doesn't feel real. I mean, it's still like a month or two after that happened. And it's not two, but it's like a month after that happened. So we still have not held the record in our hands. And it's been pretty much over a year now which is why I don't really feel like it's real. Would you say surreal? I have to hold it, right, to feel surreal. Or do I just not know the meaning of that word? It's up to you. Decide for yourself. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Holy shit. Hold on. The Halo EP was at Skylab, right? Uh, yes. Let me think. Skylab in Gainesville. Was it? I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, it was, and we all played together. Yeah, we played together. Holy shit, that thing sucked. Legitimately live, and we recorded all of the songs in one day. I didn't even know how to play my instrument then. I'm surprised that was a lot in the band. First take was gold. That was it. Well, it never went anywhere near gold. It went like wood or dirt. For the dead. That's the name of it. Yeah, it was it was a lot different. What did you think of it, Kevin? When you first heard it? What? Have you heard it? Halos for heroes and dirt for the dicks. Well, that's no comment. Uh, that's not a song on, on that album. Oh, well. Uh, you didn't listen to it, did you? <laughs> no comment. Great. That's no, you already said that. It's not the, oh. that's not on there. No, I'm just going to keep repeating myself. Okay. <laughs> did we answer that question? I think we just reminisced. Well, it, it was kind of, it was a lot different, actually. I mean, we wrote it all in your garage. Mm-hmm. And there were spiders, and there was a lawnmower, and there was a, a boat. A boat. Those and things it, are pretty much all still there. Well, and, and Al, too. No, he, he doesn't own that garage anymore. He told me today. Yeah. And then we wrote this one on a computer in, in the van and in a bus. and Random places around the world. It was really weird getting in the computer. It's hard to do that. Kind of so. like Tron. I mean, it's always got a chance, you know. 
but at the same time, the way this record had to be released because of this court problem we've had and not being able to find a solution before the uh, time to release it, there's there's really the it's probably not it's, going to reach well, that. I I feel like it's really tough to compare. It to is just because of like we literally had four days to set it up. Like we started setting it up, and then we didn't. We weren't sure if we were going to be able to release it, and we found out literally four days before the release date that we actually were going to be able to release it. So, I mean, that's a lot different than like with yeah. what separates me from you. Like had a traditional setup, had a and, few months of setup, yeah. right? Four but days. <laughs> to be to be fair, I think with the amount of time that we had, I think that it does stand a chance to do in in com- like with everything relative to the situation i think it can do something very close that we we were told that they might not even allow us to use the numbers from what we sold independently on our website for SoundScan. so yeah and that and that was a huge number for us just being able to sell it on adtr.com it was amazing how much our fan base actually supported it and i think people will be pretty surprised when we announce whatever I was that shocked. number was it, it was double what I expected and would have been happy with. So, I mean, it was pretty substantial. So that might not even scared. get counted. They're scared we're going to chart number one on Billboard, so they're not going to let us. Exactly. Watch out, Gaga. Well, the goal for this album was just to get the f- the album to the fans. Yeah. Because, uh, in our lawsuit. Our label's whole game plan was to kind of stretch this out, to kind of force us into a corner to where we had to make a crappy deal with them to put it out. And they were hoping that the judge would not side with us, which would have completely stopped our career until it was solved in court, which could have been up to 2015. And who the hell is going to care about a record that was hyped three years ago in 2015? So at the end of the day, the only thing that mattered to actually keep this band relevant and keep us on track to doing what we wanted to do with our career was to put this album out for the fans and that's what we did yeah moving forward we just want to tour play shows become underwear models and then um date kate upton that's my goal personally i would share her with you guys as a group i I would feel so much closer to you if you shared kate upton with me that's of course kate if you're into this (laughs) 